the yearly cycle of Call of Duty, it gets people in their feelings. It gets people out of their body. It gets people losing their minds. And I can't for the life of me understand it. Love and light, welcome back to Dominated Impulse. First and last time viewers, make sure you pimp slap that like button, the subscribe button, and the notification bell. As we continue to grow and chase 1K, I welcome all new people, old people, and just passing by people to our community. We're about to have a little conversation about Call of Duty. This isn't gonna be one of my philosophical, analytical, ranty rant videos. This is gonna be one of those videos that's just gonna make you think, and it's gonna make you look at some of your friendships. So, I was playing COD a couple days ago with one of my partners, shout out, NBR, day one. When I say I met this guy in a Verdansk lobby, didn't know him, he didn't know me. We met up, we got, I don't even think the first game we played we got a dub, and I don't think the second we got a dub, but eventually I know in that same day we got a dub. We're like, oh bro, you got a mic, you know how I go. Friend it up, right? Bada bing, bada boom. That's been one of my real life friends for the last four years. Like, so if we go back to Call of Duty 2019, remember guys, I quit Call of Duty. I played the multiplayer. I said it was mid, I said it was dead. I take some of that back. Verdansk came and everything changed. The Call of Duty landscape changed. The content creation space changed. The mindset of, of what can you do for Call of Duty content videos, conversation changed, it all changed. One thing has never changed, and I don't think it's ever going to change just based on the success of the game and, and I'm gonna emphasize how we critique and perceive it. Remember how I started this video? Call of Duty releases get people out of their body. It makes them lose their mind. They lose control. They are lost out of here. Every year, we have the same conversation. Is it good? Is it bad? Is it buggy? Is it broke? Does it work? What pot was not? What's meta? That skin costs too much. They're raping us. Check this out. Life is all about evolution. Life is all about the growth of things, right? So if you plug in one of those older Call of Duty games, it's probably not going to hit the same as the new ones that you have currently invested time and money and energy and friendship and connections with. And that's what all these games are about. That in totality, ladies and gentlemen, personally, my belief is is what gaming is about. Friendships, connection and fun. Now, the content creation space has turned it into a competitive PVP pit. Now, you know me. I'm all for competition brings the best out of people and i truly believe that but going back to my real life friend like i said call of duty modern warfare 2019 we had warzone that dropped in 2020 we had black op cold War. we had vanguard we had mw2 and we had warzone 2.0 and we're coming up on modern warfare mw3 real life friend who's been rocking with me for that long We've had real life conversations about Assassin's Creed. We've had real life conversations about life, about me going through my divorce. Homie went went through my divorce with me. Like, like keep that in mind. We've been friends while I was married, after I was married, and all in between. Call of Duty is a game about friendships. So now that we're at the meat and potatoes, if you listen thus far into the video, blame truth is a Call of Duty creator, right? And if you go to his page, he says nothing ever positive about the game. Ever. At any time. At any point. And I'm to the mindset. I'm of the mindset. He is not a Call of Duty guy. I no longer want to hear about you being in the 1% of the multiplayer lobbies on old Call of Duty games. I no longer want to hear about you being the top tier voice of the community in this Reddit form or that Reddit form. I no longer want to hear that. Let me tell you why. I'm gonna let y'all in on a little secret. I do not believe Blame Truth is a Call of Duty guy. 
I do not believe Blaine Truth is a Call of Duty player. He is someone who has monetized all for our community. He doesn't play the game. He doesn't enjoy the game. He doesn't break it down. He doesn't do anything. There are plenty Call of Duty creatives that break the game down tastefully and keep it 100 objectively. J God, Exclusive Ace, Stone Mountain, just to name a few. Just to name a few. So, I could go on and on in all the other positive Call of Duty creatives, but my question to you guys, my question to the, the internet world, my question to the YouTube community, I'm making a bold post and statement and, and recording this stance, but I no longer want to see it. Either don't play the game, don't talk about the game, or transition your content format. You feel me? Because you ain't got to only talk about Call of Duty to pay the bills, partner. Blame truth. Put these Call of Duty bents, rants to bed. Unless you hopping on Warzone and you suffering with us and you're enjoying the game with us when it's good and you're dealing with it when it's bad and you're not uploading other people's gameplay and taking their wor word for it. If you're not doing any of that, blame truth. I'm talking to you. We got to be bold when we when we talk about people here. He is the only negative Call of Duty creator that I continuously see that is getting continuously monetized and praised about a game he doesn't know or play. You're not a Call of Duty guy, bro. You're not a Call of Duty guy, and that's okay. That's that's all right. We, we evolve as men. What I'm not going to stand for is for you to continually insult other adults, other players, and then try to tell them how to spend their money. Like you worked hard for those 40 hours to tell them what to do with their money. If they want to wipe their ass with their money, that's their fucking prerogative. Who are you? If they want to spend microtransactions on the game, now they're idiots because you don't like something and it's funding the game. With Newsflash, it's 2023. Everything, and I mean everything, has some form of a microtransaction built into it. So... If you're going to stream your movies, if you're going to stream your music, don't bitch about a microtransaction being built into a game. Now, thank you guys if you listened up until this far. Love and light. Make sure you hit the notification bell. We're going to be back with another video this weekend. Breaking down Madden in the same similar format is going to be my finally here Madden 24 review. And it's not going to be long. It's not going to be analytical. Leave your comments down below. Is this guy a Call of Duty guy? Is this guy the voice we want talking about our game? Leave him below. Till next time, King of the Podcast, Casual Gamer. I'm out. Maybe everybody don't need a podcast because some of these niggas get on these mics and start.